Okay, I'm going to walk you through the process of um, adding these uh, blog posts using the uh, PDF that you had sent me. So I'm just going to create a new one, then I'll delete it, but um, we'll just use the same one as an example. So I'm going to post, adding a new post. I'm sure you're familiar with this process so far. And I opened the PDF that you sent me in um, Adobe uh, Acrobat Pro. I th believe that you said that's what you have. Um, so here's uh, basically the way to go about it is just use the uh, arrow tool here and you can highlight any of this text. I'm uh, sorry, not arrow, the pointer tool. Um, and then just copy. Go back over here and hit paste. You've got your title. You can actually select any of these images, do copy image, I'll do save image as. Okay, I'm going to just save it here in my downloads folder. Motor Trend, that's fine. We'll just leave it as that. Um, and then go through and start copying text. Now, um, using the text editor is going to make things a little bit easier. Um, when you're coming out of PDF, uh, a PDF, um, it's technically not an editable format, but because you have Adobe Acrobat Pro, it, you can do some editing, but you'll notice that this text comes in and it's actually like has these line breaks here that we don't want. So unfortunately, it's a little bit more uh, manipulation that is required just to get rid of the weird line breaks so that the text uh, flows more naturally across the page, and that'll be important once we actually publish it. Um, but this is basically what I did to create the post for you. Um, save image as, again. So I'm just saving them. Whoops, I need to give it a unique name. So I'm just going to add a dash one to the end of that. Um, let me actually zoom out here. It's probably a little easier to see. And then again, just grabbing all of this text. Copy. Go ahead and paste it in here. You're going to have to get rid of all, all those little line breaks that you don't want, etc., etc. And paragraph break here where we do want one. And then um, <coughs> for the featured image, I'm going to use that main image, but I'm just going to show you how to upload these. So, yeah, you just click on featured image, go to upload files. Go to the downloads folder where I saved them. I'm going to upload both of these now. You can see here, here's the ones I had already done when I did this originally, but I'm just kind of doing it again, being a little redundant here. Um, and then I'm going to select that for my featured image. I'm going to hit set featured image. And then I want to add those other images kind of in line here. I think this one is pretty large. So I just did add media. I'm going to do alignment center. We link to nothing, and I'm going to use the full size. Actually, you know what? The full size one's not that big, so I'm going to do left. And then I'm going to actually just back this text right up to it so that when I go to the visual editor, it has a left alignment and the text wraps. And you just go through that process for the entire page. Um, so when you're editing the text, it's just easier here in the text view than it is in the visual view, but visual gives you an idea of what your looks like. So visual might be easier when you're uploading the actual images to do it here, um, but as far as the text goes, because all you're doing is just getting rid of all of these little extra line breaks that were added. So all I'm doing is backspace and then adding a space in between the words. And just going through this, and you would just complete this process for the rest of the PDF. And then when you're done, just have a nice, really nice, kind of clean looking article. And then you'd hit publish, categorize as appropriate. And then you would be, uh, you would be all set up. Um, you'd be all set up to have this ready to go. So hopefully this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.